me. Can you tell that my hair is darker and straighter? But guys, that's not the only thing that's new. I am wearing my new Halloween merch. I always do a new spooky design each October. And this time it says, that's so creepy because literally guys, in every single video I've ever made in my life, I always say that. Someone should literally make a compilation of me just saying, that's so creepy. I'm sure you'd find me saying that like a thousand times. So I figured it was time to make some merch with that saying. So I am currently wearing the purple pastel colored one, but it also comes in a gray version with purple and blue writing. So you're able to choose from this color or a darker color, whichever one you prefer. But yeah, I wanted to get these out just before October so you guys can get them in time for Halloween. And once these are sold out, they're all sold out. So if you guys would like one, I will put the link down below in the description. But yeah, I'm excited to wear this everywhere. And I can't even decide which one's my favorite because I love pastel colors, especially purple, but I also like darker colors like the gray one. I feel like I have two sides to me. So in today's video, we're gonna be continuing our series on creepy old retro games. These are games that probably most of you have played when you were a kid. So we're gonna talk about their brief history and then we're gonna go into the creepier sides of them. That's so creepy. <laughs> the first game is gonna sound so random, but we're gonna be talking about Duck Dog Goose. Now obviously I feel like everybody in the world has played this game, so I don't really need to go too detailed into the rules, but just just in case you've never played this. Basically, all the players sit in a circle and the person who is it walks around while tapping on people's heads, saying duck, 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 over and over and over as they go around the circle. And the person's head that they touch while saying goose has to then chase them around the circle and you see who sits down first. Now, this game originated from Sweden and the original title of this game was actually Duck, Duck, gray duck, which is really interesting. I have no idea how we turned it into goose, but apparently this game was actually made to teach kids patience because as they sit in the circle, they have to wait to see if they get tapped as the goose. I remember whenever I played this in like elementary school, primary school, I would feel so anxious sitting in this circle. This is probably where my anxiety started because I never wanted to be the goose. All the other kids around me were like, pick me, pick me, I wanna be the goose. And I was sitting there like, I don't want to be the goose, don't choose me. I don't want to be the goose. Comment down below if you wanted to be the goose, because if you were one of those kids, you were brave. I had so much social anxiety. Anyways, let's get into the scary side, because with all of these retro games, I was able to find one scary story that goes along with them. There was a story I found about this girl that collected tons of porcelain dolls. She had so many in her bedroom that she had shelves everywhere that they would sit on. And once a week, she would have have tea parties with them. So she would set up about 12 of them around a small table in her bedroom. And then she would call her next door neighbor over and they would just sit there and have like pretend tea parties. I don't know about you guys, but that kind of reminds me of that scene from Toy Story. And I'm like laughing just thinking about it because of when Buzz Lightyear was Miss Nesbitt and he was like, I'm Mrs. Nesbitt. When I was a kid, I would literally rewind that scene just to watch it over and over. My sister knows what I'm talking about. Anyways though, after they were all done drinking their tea, they would play a game of Duck Duck Goose. So the girl would walk around this table slowly tapping all of the doll's heads saying duck, 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 duck. And the doll that she chose to be the goose, she would pick up and she would throw it across her room into her toy box. She's lucky the porcelain didn't break. But that's basically how she would put her dolls away. She would play a game of duck, duck, goose until they were all gone. Well, one night, the girl was wide awake, listening to the thunderstorm out her window when she heard a sound of scuffling across her carpet. It almost sounded like something small was walking around her room, but obviously she wasn't able to see anything because her bedroom was pitch black. And just before she got up to investigate, she heard a small voice. And this voice sounded like it was right beside her bed. As she listened, she heard, Duck, duck, goose. Duck, duck, goose. Over and over again. And the voice sounded like it was going around her bed in circles, just around her bed saying this as if it was actually trying to play duck, duck, goose with her. The girl jolted up and turned on her light and the voice suddenly stopped. 
And when she peered over her bed, she saw one of the dolls she had thrown in the toy box earlier lying on the floor. So is the moral of this story to be gentle with your dolls? <laughs> because I feel like if I was a kid and I threw my dolls all over the place, they would probably come for me at night too. But yeah, this was like one of the creepiest duck duck goose stories I was able to find because I don't think there are many out there. And the next old game we're gonna be talking about is Truth or Dare, which I know all of you have played. And obviously this game is still played today, but the origins of it were from quite a long time ago. I remember when I was younger and I played this game, it was usually played at like birthday parties or sleepovers. And obviously it's where you ask somebody truth or dare, and they have to pick one of the options. If they choose truth, you have to ask them a really difficult question that might reveal some secret that they're holding. And if they choose dare, you have to make them do something that will probably embarrass them or freak them out. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I play this game, 99% of the time I would choose truth because I never wanted to do anything crazy. And like, even though it's truth, you can still lie. Like they'll never know. <laughs> I mean, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, what might surprise people is that this game has actually existed for hundreds of years. And the original title of this game was called Questions and Commands, and it was created in the 1700s. It used to be very popular to play at Christmas back in those times. And the rules would be that a commander of a house would bid his subjects to answer questions that he would come up with. And the rule is, if they didn't answer these questions, their face would be dirtied. That's literally what it says, their face would be dirty. That is like their punishment for not answering truthfully. So like there would be like a king and he would call over one of his servants and he would be like, what did you eat for dinner yesterday? Be honest. And if they couldn't remember or they weren't honest for some reason, their face would be dirtied. There's actually this painting that I was able to find by the artist named James Gilray. This is from 1788 showing a bunch of people in a room playing this game. And it almost looks like that man was like commanded to smell that poor woman's feet. I don't know, that's what it looks like to me. But yeah, now that you know this strange history, let's talk about a creepy story. There's a story about this group of teenagers that were staying in an old cabin in the woods that they had found. Why do all these stories start with an old cabin in the woods? While they were there, they decided to play a game of truth or dare using dice. So depending on how you rolled it, it would tell you which option you had to go with. Now there was this guy named Mike who was there and it was his turn to play but he wasn't really worried because he was a pretty out there dude and he wasn't afraid to do crazy things well his friends dared him to go down into the basement of this cabin and this door was literally bolted shut and there was this slight weird smell coming from underneath the doorway so Mike walked over and kicked down the door in only three attempts and he was feeling really brave until he began walking down the stairs the air was musty and cold. It was like no one had been down there for decades. And the rule was that he had to go into the basement and walk to the very back of the wall and touch it to complete this dare. When he got to the bottom, he could barely see anything because there was no windows and it was pitch black. And there were puddles all over the floor. So he began to walk with his hands out in front of him because he couldn't see anything. And he had no idea how far he needed to go, so he just kept walking and walking until he felt like he touched a damp wall in front of him. So he assumed it must have been the back of the basement. Touched it! He yelled for his friends to hear upstairs. But as soon as he said that, the surface he was touching began to move underneath his fingers. It almost had the motion of someone breathing. And in that moment, he realized it was not a wall he had touched, but instead someone's bare back that was standing in the basement with him. So he instantly ran up the stairs, grabbed a couch, and pushed it in front of the door so whatever that thing was, it couldn't get out of the basement. And he vowed to never play truth or dare ever again. So obviously that door was bolted for a reason. That's why you don't open bolted basement doors. <laughs> Anyways, so guys, that is the end of that story and the end of this video. If you want me to continue doing this series on old retro games and the history and the creepy side of them, give this video a thumbs up and let me know because there are so many more that I could do. And if if you would like this that's so creepy top check out the link down below in the description like i said there's the pastel colors and there's like the grays and blues but yeah i hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and i will see you in my next video 